I'm Charlize and today I'm going to be doing a book reviews video. So this is a series of videos I'm doing where I try to review every book on my channel like what Ariel the Set does over on her channel. She's the first one that did it I think or the first one that I saw instead of doing a book talk for every video because I suck at book talks. Anyway, I just said that because I haven't done this video in a while, so I thought you guys might have forgotten. The books, the three books I'm going to be reviewing today are Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell and I Wrote This For You by Please Find This and Unravel Bee by Tahara Marthy. Yes, let's go. All of these reviews are going to be spoil free and yes, let's go, yes. The first book is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I freaking love this book, guys. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. If you don't know what it's about, which you probably all do, it is about, like, two people, Eleanor and Park, and they're two, like, completely different people, and they're both sort of misfits, Eleanor more so than Park, and basically Eleanor, um, like, gets on the bus one morning, and she doesn't have a seat, and no one will give her a seat, and then Park gives her a seat, and then they form a relationship from there, and so many things happen, and it's just, it's very good. Rainbow Rowell is really good at writing dialogue. This is like one of the first things I've noticed. Her dialogue is so realistic. I haven't read anything else by um, Rainbow Rowell, but I've heard people say similar things about her dialogue, and I just really liked the dialogue. And it's also really short. So I got through this really quick, and as you can see, there are lots and lots of tabs. And I just love the interactions between Eleanor and Park, and I laughed a lot in this. And the ending, I, um, a lot of people talk about the ending, and I'm not sure what I think about the ending. I was shocked, kind of, because I got to the last page, and this never happens with me. I'm always, like, anticipating the end of the book because I'm such a slow reader and I just want to get through books so I can get more done. But this time, I got to the last page and actually turned the page because I thought there was more. So I, like, read the last word, and then I was like, okay, next chapter, and there was nothing! And I was like, what?! And it was not okay! But yes, I did give this a 5 out of 5 stars. I, did, I think the ending could have been done a bit better. But other than that, it was amazing. And I still, like, I like the ending. I just... I'm not sure. I don't know. The next book that I'm going to be talking about is I Wrote This For You by Please Find It. And I'm so glad I finally get to talk about this. Because this book was amazing. I gave this 5 out of 5 stars as well. Actually, I think I gave every book in this review video a 5 out of 5 stars. Yes, I did. I did. This, oh my gosh, this, like, came into my life at the exact right moment. Like, okay, I think I've told this story about 5,000 times, but I was at, like, an individual bookseller at, um, like, Cronulla Beach, where I used to live, and, um, I saw this, and I was like, what is that? And I looked in it, and I was like, what? And it has, like, it's like, what? And I was so intrigued by it, and, like, the dedication in the front, I read it, and, like, like, look online for the dedication and you'll see because it's kind of long and I can't, like, you guys aren't going to be able to see it. But, um, I read it and I was just so intrigued, but it was, like, $40 in the bookshop, like, 40 Australian dollars, and I was like, no. So I went home and I ordered on the book depository, and then it came at the exact right moment of my life. And then I just read it and, oh my gosh, I read this so fast. It is a collection of poems and... Like, they're separated into sections, and what were the sections? I don't remember. They're just like sun, moon, stars, um, rain, and that's it. So, like, those, they don't really, like, I couldn't really find any connection between the poems, slash, like, find any connection to their sections. Like, none of the, they're not about the sun and the rain, but they're so good. Like, you can see how many of these poems I liked. I had to go down and then come back up. That's how many sticky notes I used. Like, can you see there are two layers of sticky notes? Can you, can you see that? Because, whoa, okay, let me just find one that's really short that I like so you can read it. This one, this one, this one. I don't want to refocus because then I'm going to lose my focusing. This one, you can read it now. You can read it, you can read it. You can read it. But yeah, I don't really know how to explain what these poems are about. They're just kind of, they're, like, I've heard a lot of people say this is a bit melodramatic, but I don't care, okay? I just... Basically, people either love this book or hate it, and I've just heard a lot of hate on this specific one because of the... Like, I've heard someone rage about the pictures in this book because, like, the author 
takes series of pictures and he lives in Tokyo I think and like the pictures don't really relate to the poems and I don't know but like still there are some that are really nice like I want to find one specific one I, I know which one I'm thinking of there's this one this one I really like I'll show you I'll do this again um this one this one matches the picture but yeah I would really recommend this to you if you're into poetry or if you just like kind of like deep things I guess I read this so quick and I took a lot out of it and I still like go back to this and look at the ones that I tabbed and read them over again and I also bought I wrote this few just the words which is here and I've talked about that as well it's it's got some of these poems in it but it has no pictures and it has a lot more poems and they're split into like more significant sections so but I would recommend this one first because I did enjoy this one more than I enjoyed the just the words one so I would recommend this one first Yay! I never drink my tea on camera because like I'm really bad at drinking tea and and like just doing normal human things like eating and drinking I I choke on every I drown sometimes I drown um does anyone else just drown all the time because I do. And how do you drink things with lipstick on without this happening? The last book that I have to talk about today is Unravel Me by Tahara Marfi. This is the second book in the Shadow Me trilogy. I love this trilogy so much. This is probably my favourite dystopian trilogy. And I can't pick a favourite in this series. I really cannot. It's probably either Unravel Me or um, Ignite Me. But I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. You can see how many tabs there are. They're mainly Kenji quotes, obviously. Um, Kenji in this book is amazing. Guys, <laughs> if you liked Shadow Me, you will probably like this. If you, like, gave Shadow Me a four stars, you'll probably like Unravel Me better. Some people that really love Shadow Me don't like Unravel Me as much, and then some people that didn't like, like, they liked Shadow Me, but they weren't like, whoa, over it, like Unravel Me more. But I loved it and I was really like nervous going into it because of what people have said about the the love triangle thing and like you guys have probably heard about it and that's kind of what put me off because I felt like I knew what was going to happen with the love triangle and I'm not going to mention it in case some of you don't know about it but I kind of knew what was going to happen but I didn't know how it was going to get there and I was like you know the like if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm talking about the team this or team that that kind of gave it away for me because everyone was on a certain team by the end of this book so that kind of gave it away but I loved this book and oh man I really liked it I really really liked it I don't really know what else to say because it is the second book in a series I have a um a book talk on Shatter Me and also on um, Ignite Me but I don't have one on this book but yeah that's all I really have to say about this I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, and yes. So that's all for this video. Discuss in the comments below the books with me. But if you're going to talk about a book and talk about spoilers, make sure you give a spoiler warning at the start of your comment. I'm good, I'm fine with discussing books with you in the comments. I love doing that. But make sure you do spoiler warning because I hate it when I read through comments and it just spoils a book without, like, warning it. So yes, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Yeah.